and he's feeding at about 200 out. It's a little bit far for my comfort right now, but I don't know if we can get much closer. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. First off, I want to thank you guys for all the amazing support you've been putting out lately. From all the recent videos we've been putting out, and just everything in general, I really appreciate all the comments. Sorry if I can't get to some of the comments. I mean to, but sometimes just things come up where I'm unable to. Normally I try to get as many as I possibly can, but since I've been hurt lately, it's a, it's a little bit different story. Anyways, today we're out here with the 9.3. Well, actually we have both 9.3s. We have the synthetic 9.3 on us now, and we have the wood grain 9.3. They're both loaded up with the 9.3 bullets, and we have 16 gauge slugs equipped as well. Uh, across over here, we have a bunch of black buck that are about 300, 350 out, which we can't use a 9.3 on these guys, but there is a nice mule deer right there. And I think we might go for a shot at him. This black buck here looks pretty good as well. That could be a kind of a smaller size diamond. I can't quite get a spotting on him just yet, but we do have a perfectly broadside mule deer here at about 350. Perfect heart shot at about 350 yards out. Absolutely beautiful. Now we do need to get a consecutive harvest check as well. Because I guarantee by the time we go over there, everything's going to be gone. So if we could find another buck or this doe. Ah, we hit that one, but we hit it low. That was quite a ways out there. What is this buck here? I wonder if that doe's actually going to go down. In fact, I forgot that we have another 9.3 fully loaded here. Although there is no way we're going to be able to hit that thing. I really hope that that doe goes down from that shot. All right, so it looks like this doe is not going to go down from that shot. So what we're going to do is try and put a follow-up on her. Nice, very nice, she is down. And let's reload our 9.3 again because we have two of them, but they're both empty. Oh, every time I see a water buffalo that's white colored like this, I always think it's an albino. Even though I can tell right now that it's just a regular common color, although it seems pretty white to me. And it's a seven very hard. I would love to try a shot on this uh, water buffalo here, but I want to see exactly how far it is. 332 yards out. Boy, is that a risky shot. We have sight on another mule deer. I think we'll just go with this one. And perfect shot. She is down. I'm about 100% sure you can actually use a 9.3 on the mule deer and still get 100% integrity. But we'll find out soon. All right, so we have a decent sized access buck out here at about, wait, is this one a big one? Ooh. That's a big access buck. We don't have anything to take him with. We only have the 16 gauge slugs, which I don't want to waste. So we'll take a shot at this one here. And that looked like a pretty solid hit. That buck should be down right there. Something tells me our consecutive harvest was going to be at 0%. So I figured why not take a shot at this access deer. That way we can help get our harvest value back up. Oh, hold on. I just spotted a mule deer cutting across this way over here. It might be a nice buck. Looks like a doe. Another doe. And another doe. Alright, so we have a couple of does cutting across here. What is that? What is that? That could be a nice buck. A real nice buck. And that was a nice shot. He's going down right there. All right, here's our access buck. Let's pick him up. We're actually at 100% for our consecutive harvester, surprisingly. What the heck was that? A water buffalo came running out of nowhere. I don't know where he's going, but... Oh, you know what? A puma might be chasing him. Never thought about that. Let's see if he's going to slow down or see what it is. I uh, can't tell what it is. Something very hard. Oh, I don't want to take a bad shot. Okay, this might be a really good opportunity for us to be able to get a nice perfect heart shot on this big water buffalo. 
So hopefully he either slows down or turns around or does something. Because we have both 9.3s loaded up. And we have some 16 gauge slugs on top of that in case we need to back it up. Alright, so I actually lost sight of that water buffalo. But we're going to go back and start picking some of these up now. This is a 313. And we made a double lung shot at 203 yards out. Very nice mule deer buck. Total score of 784 on him. It looks like we actually do get 100% on the integrity on these guys as well with the 9.3. So that's pretty awesome. That is our seven very hard water buffalo right there that we saw from before. So if we can get to 150 on this guy, I will definitely try and take a shot. Try and take a perfect hard shot with the 9.3. All right, so we just snuck up to about 150 yards away from this water buffalo. He is right here feeding and he is in perfect distance. Let's wait till he picks his head up. Oh, we're shaking, we're shaking too much. Oh, that was so perfect too. All right, let's calm down a little bit, catch our breath and try this one more time. We got it, yes, perfect shot. Big Cape Buffalo down. And we have plenty of animals over there to get our consecutive harvest up. And there's another doe and one more buck. So we need to find a total of four mule deer here. This is the doe that we hit at 382. I had a feeling we were going to hit low on that in accident. Uh, looks like that one shot wouldn't have taken her down. Followed by we did make a 393 yard right lung, liver, and stomach shot. So very good penetration on this mule deer. All right, let's pick up this buck. I don't remember this buck, to be honest. That was a... Uh, Wait, was this our big buck? I think we accidentally picked this one up. What a beautiful shot. 346 yard, double lung heart shot. He scored 316, total score of 787. So yeah, I guess this was our first big mule deer that we took a shot at. Almost 350 yard heart shot with the 9.3. Well, I can't find the other doe at this point or the buck, but we're gonna grab this water buffalo here really quick. And he went down in a pretty cool position as well. In fact, let's take a quick uh, picture of him because we took him down with a 9.3 and that's our first water buffalo we did take with a 9.3. That's not a bad picture right there. Let's go with that and let's pick him up. Come on, let's pick him up. 299 gold, total score of 857. We made a perfect 147 yard heart shot on this seven very hard water buffalo. As you can see, it says he's common, but you can definitely tell. Look how white he is. Uh, the only reason that we saw him is because he is this color, but that was pretty awesome. A 147 yard heart shot and our first water buffalo down with a 9.3. All right, well, we actually just stumbled across one of our mule deer. I think this is a doe we were tracking because according to the tracks, this should be the doe. It is the doe. Uh, this doe somehow glitched out because we hit her way down there by the water where the blood was, which is about 40 yards away. We made a heart double lung shot at 345 yards out. Uh, yeah, it was definitely black buck because there's a ton of them over there. And what is this? That would be a red deer stag out there resting. Another one there. I never have anything giant over here. They're all just, holy, look at all these stags. Look at them all. Where do these things come from? That's a nice one there. It's six hard. It's still not a giant, but it's definitely a lot bigger than a five medium. Oh, seven very hard. All right, so we have quite a bit of stags over there, but we still need to find... One more buck. All right, so I actually thought we hit another buck, but I just went back and watched some footage and I realized that we only hit one buck and two does. So we're all caught up on our consecutive harvest. Everything's good. We got our water buffalo and now we spotted all these red deer here. What I'd like to do is try and get a shot on this stag right here at 237. We're gonna put out a call though and hope that he stands up and kind of gives us a broadside shot. We're gonna go for a double long heart shot. Right there at about 150. Need to stop though. We don't necessarily have to have him to stop, but I would really like him. Oh, we probably should have just taken a walking shot.
It looked good. It looked really good. I uh, didn't get the heart, but definitely looked good. All I know is we didn't hit this tree. And I thought for surely we were going to hit that tree. All right, here he is. Pretty nice stag down. It looks like he ran about 30 yards. Let's pick him up. 184 gold. Perfect shot. A nice double lung shot on him. Absolutely beautiful. Centered the lung perfect. We're a little bit high of the heart, but I mean, to be able to squeeze one off and not hit that tree, that was accomplishment in just itself. Total score of 834, and we made a 168 yard shot on this stag. All right, so we actually just got eyes on a female puma out here. This one is about 300 yards out. Now, we should be able to get a single lung hit, and it definitely should take down this female. Uh, I didn't think it would drop it, but I will definitely take that. I keep reloading, and I forget that we actually have another 9.3 that we can just pop open quick and take a shot with that if we need to. How'd that work? Got two hits into it, and that follow-up should definitely help bring that one down. 50%, 25%. It looks like we actually got a vital hit on that water buffalo on the run. And we have another water buffalo here. Let's actually go prone in this mode. Oh, seriously? What's calling over there? Oh, a male puma. This might be really cool. Come on, where is it? All right, so since I don't see the puma anywhere, we're going to get a spotting on this water buffalo real quick check to see how far 232 it is out there and we'll try for a walking heart shot it looked good ah oh, come on seriously ah oh, that first shot definitely made a vital hit but the second shot we didn't reload in time all right here we go oh, it was perfectly broadside too Come on, one, one, one. Ah, that was not a good shot. If at all possible, can we seriously get one more into him? Nope. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, he might come back. Did he seriously just pile up right there? Because I thought we didn't make that good of a hit. But I'm pretty sure he just piled up. Alright, so we should have three water buffalo over there and a puma. Well, here's one. And this one is actually a silver. It was a seven very hard. <laughs> Barely missed the heart. Didn't quite lead it enough as it was walking. If we would have hit just a touch more in the front. We would have caught heart and double lung on that at 220 yards out. Still made a really nice shot on this seven very hard total score of 697 on him. And we have one down here. This is another male, a six hard. We only made a single lung hit way too high on that one, but we took him down at 236 yards out. All right, here's our third water buffalo down. Let's pick him up. That was a six hard. It looks like the first shot was we were going for a heart, but we didn't get the penetration as he was facing at us just like that. And we made a right lung shot at 215, which helped bring him down. And here is our Puma. Let's find out how we did on that one. 100%. That was our 333 yard. Ooh, looks like we got a little bit lucky on that actually. We got spinal cord and double lung at 336 yards. All right, so we just came up to a nice herd of water buffalo over here. And I don't see any giants just yet. There's a seven very hard in here somewhere, but I was hoping to find either a mythical or maybe even a legendary. At this point, I think what we're gonna do is try and get a shot on this seven very hard. So we're gonna try and get in position, which uh, obviously this is not a very good position to take a shot. At this six hard, we could get a perfect heart shot on him. In fact, we might try for that. Yeah, I don't see anything big here, or at least anything giant. So we're going to try for a hard shot on this six hard. Uh, that was not a hard shot. That was actually, well, we did get lung, but, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Oh, that's a vital hit. That's going down. Are they coming back at us? Uh oh. We'll switch over to our 16 gauge slugs here. And give you up right there. <laughs> well, we got two good hits into that one. That should take him down at least, but. Yes! Perfect heart shot. <laughs> we got him. Not taking us down this time. 289 gold. Looks like the first shot didn't get enough penetration to hit anything, really. We just got a flesh hit on that one at 16 yards out, followed by the second shot. We connected on a left lung and a heart shot at 14 yards out with the 16 gauge slugs. All I know is one is down here. This is another one we got with the 16 gauge slugs as well. So that reminds me. I definitely want to try out these 16 gauge slugs on the water buffalo in a future. Uh, maybe go for some hard shots with the scope, but let's pick up this water buffalo here. 252 score on this one. We did get a right lung shot, almost a hard shot, followed by a flesh hit as he was coming at us. But looks like we still got 100% on the integrity on that. Well, I guess that answers the question. There's another water buffalo down there. That's the one that charged us from before. Plus, we hit the other one pretty good that ran off this direction over here. We'll have to go find him in a second, but... For now, we might try for a shot on another one of these if we find a decent one. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to. Just a female and a couple of smaller, medium-sized ones. So we'll just run over there and go pick up this one. All right, let's pick this one up. That was actually a left lung liver shot as he was coming at us. We were going for heart, but we pulled off to the uh, right side there. Still got really good penetration, left lung and liver. And total score of 738. That was with the 9.3 bullets. There we go. Absolutely perfect angle on this giant 8 mythical. And he's feeding at about 200 out. It's a little bit far for my comfort right now. But I don't know if we can get much closer. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to. I think we're going to have to hold for the exact 208. I have to hold for a heart shot on this big mythical. Yes! Perfect shot. We got him. He is down. Giant mythical. We just took down with a 9.3 and a perfect heart shot. Let's see if there's anything else big over there. I think we definitely got the biggest one. Look at all the water buffalo though, just a ton of them. So since we have one broadside here, nice and very hard to be exact. That should have been at least a single lung hit. Unless we hit shoulder, yes, 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 he's going down. Okay, good, perfect. <laughs> all right, so we're actually trying to track down our seven very hard that we hit, but we found the initial water buffalo we hit in the very beginning, so we might as well pick him up. Wow, I am pretty happy with this. Double lung shot at 120. Uh, not very good of a quick kill, but I thought we only got a single lung on that, even though we were going for a heart shot. We definitely didn't miss it by much. So the sun very hard didn't go very far either. I would imagine we probably got a double lung shot on him as well. And he was about 250 out. Single lung only. So he must have turned around. Still good penetration though, 263 yards out. So at least you know, if you get a single lung hit on these big water buffalo like this, you can definitely take them down with a single lung hit. You're not gonna get any quick kill on that. Oh, seriously, water buffalo, don't come attack us right now. But at least you know you can take them down. Anyways, let's go over now and go take a look at our giant mythical. Okay, good, it's safe. And let's see how we did. Seriously. Alright, so we found our mythical. We're about to get attacked by some more water buffalo, but I want to pick this guy up here quick. Uh, I think we might be safe, actually. I don't hear him anywhere. Definitely want to get a couple nice pictures of this, because he's a huge mythical. And we took him down with a 9.3. Although, it's not a very good angle of him, but we'll take what we can get. 
Yeah, that's definitely not a very good angle. Let's try here. Anyways, let's just pick him up. And he scores 313 total score of 890. We made a beautiful left lung and a heart shot at 208 yards out. Perfect shot on him. So you can definitely see that this 9.3 by 74R has plenty of capability to take down a water buffalo. And if you get a hard shot, you can get 100% on the quick kill. Uh, with a single lung and a double lung, you'll still take them down, but you're just going to get a little bit less on the quick kill. But yeah, so if you see a giant, just go for a hard shot. And with that, I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. There he is. It's a mythical. And we dropped him. What a giant. Holy. Oh my god, that was incredible. Why couldn't it be a diamond though? Would have been absolutely insane if it was a diamond. He stepped out absolutely perfect. I thought he was a diamond. I'm shaking so bad right now.